lot of extra line over here. So we're gonna cross the bitter end over top of this working end. So we have this nice loop here and see all the bitter ends on top. Great, so this is the way I teach the kids. Okay. This is a scary one-eyed monster. Horrifying, I know. And the only way to defeat the monster is to sneak all the way around behind him and poke him in his one eye. He's only got one. After that, he's pretty useless. And when you pull it tight, you save the princess. There's your figure eight nine. Well done, you got it. Brilliant, absolutely brilliant. Now, the biggest mistake people make on this one is they don't sneak all the way back around to the front of the monster, they just poke him in the back of the head a lot, which like isn't a figure eight knot at all. If you just poke him in the back of the head, you've tied an overhand knot, and that's no good. Just like that, that'd be a mistake. I, I'm gonna just go for it. All right, go for it. Don't poke the monster in the back of the head, you're not debilitating him, you're just making him mad. Go all the way around, poke him in the eye. That's a figure eight. Brilliant. Good. So a figure eight knot is useful on board as a stopper knot. A lot of the halyards we've been using to set these big square sails run through blocks on deck like that. And uh, if there isn't a stopper knot at the end of it and something were to happen where we all just sort of let go, uh, it would go shooting up through the blocks and up into the rigging and we wouldn't be able to use it anymore to set the sail which would cause us a lot of problems. So um, it's really important that all tied in the end of them, so if we did all let go at the same time, rather than running through the blocks, it would just catch on the knot, and it wouldn't be able to slide through the block. So that's a stopper knot, there's lots of them, but that's the easiest one to tie. Cool, so the 